Welcome. In front of me is a Huawei MatePad 12X, and today I will show you how you can go through the setup process of this device. So, when you boot up your device for the first time, you should be presented with the same screen that you can see on my end, where you have this bubble selection of languages. Pretty bad. Um, so find the bubble that represents your language, click on it to select it, and then click on Get Started. Next, choose your region. Now we have um, all kinds of regions right here. Probably about 30% will fall under the India, but I don't recommend changing it to India. I recommend changing it to any country that is located in the European Union, and there is a reason for that. So let's look for something like, as an example, Poland. That's where I'm from, and... Uh, uh, there we go, Poland. Now the reason for that logic here is, is if companies that are doing business in the European Union will be forced to abide by EU's laws. So as an example, uh, in recent timing, we have Apple that is trying to basically act like a spoiled piece of shit kid, kicking and screaming against the European Union, forcing them to open up their platform, meaning the uh, iPhones to alternative stores because Monopoly might be good in US apparently but it's not good in Europe so you can go piss off and do what you're told and they're right now like I said kicking and screaming basically refusing to do so uh, and procrastinating and they're just getting fined up the ass but once they do that I can guarantee they will only do it in European Union where they're forced to US will still have their fantastically locked down system um, so in this case, by selecting that you're from Europe, um, that's your region, uh, they would technically have to actually give you those, you know, those benefits of allowing you to use the store, alternative stores, like you would in European Union by law. So that's why I recommend changing it to uh, regions that are in European Union as when it comes on to consumer rights we do have them figured out a little bit better than the uh the greatest country in the world apparently anyway moving on we have terms of use so we have and the user license agreement which you can click on details what you're agreeing to and then basic service statements i don't think actually we do agree to both of those so i just like to agree and continue i have never read a single word of it so so yeah Anyway, moving on, we have connect to a network. Now, it's Winnie the Pooh device, so there is no way to set it up without network because, God forbid, China couldn't get your data uh, and you dare to use this device without internet. <laughs> That's not allowed. You can't set up your device the way you want to. You're gonna set up China's device as the CCP wants you to set it up, and they want you to connect to network. So you sure as shit will need to do that if you want to use this. So let's go through that. There we go. And now look at that, we can actually continue. It's fantastic that I can set up the device the way I want to, right? Now here we have some data and privacy. Good joke there. Um, did CCP write that joke here? <laughs> Moving on. I'm not even gonna bother wasting time on the data and privacy bullshit. Moving on, we have um, device protection. So we have a couple different ways we can protect it, either through face recognition or screen lock, which consists of pin pattern or password. As you can see, by default, it opts into a six digit pin, but we can change it to four uh, digit pin. A custom pin, which is what it was actually, pattern or just a normal password. And also we have the face recognition, which for face recognition you'll also need to select a screen lock. Uh, just because, you know, those devices uh, sometimes uh, have a CC fit trying to recognize you and when, I don't know, maybe a strand of hair is uh, just uh, not in a place or maybe you just got a tiny little blemish on your face and the device like whoa 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 stop right there criminals come i don't recognize you you can't get in um yeah, in this case you're basically left with uh pin pattern or password that will obviously work no matter uh, what state your face is in 
Now, alternatively, you don't need to uh, protect your device at all, like I did. Uh, typically, I would say that you should protect it, but it's a tablet. It's not like you're probably going to be carrying that around too much. So it's a device that's primarily residing in a home, which at that point, it's not as important. And number two, I believe at least that most people don't store very personal information, at least not to the extent that you do on your phone, which again, kind of removes the need to protect it. Now, moving on, we have uh, parental control. Now, this might be a reason you want to protect your device, but uh, in any case, you can set it up if you want to, or you can just select skip if you're not planning to use any kind of parental control on this device. Now, here we have Huawei ID, which can be best described as a copy of Apple um, iCloud. They basically have nearly identical page and they want you to connect to it. I can click on continue. And again, at the same BS uh, design as Apple to try to force you into signing it to it. If you don't want to, there is a way actually, which I'm going to show. But before I do, I do want to mention this is a Huawei device and you will be using their app store or whatever they're calling it, app gallery, I think, or something like that. And for that, you will need the Huawei ID so you can download the applications. So it's this is basically as important as it is on Apple to have iCloud account. Uh, but you can skip it if you want to, as you can still download APKs from the internet really without signing into this. But most people will be using this and they most likely want to sign into this to gain things like contacts and other, other things. I'm not planning to use this really, so I'm just gonna select right here where it says, don't have a Huawei ID or forget your password. And yes, there is no option here that would mention that you can skip it. But hey, well and behold, maybe later is at the bottom. Now, when you click on it, uh, leave without setting up Huawei ID. Yep, we're going to leave. At least I am. And this presents me with uh, HMS Core. So here, again, before you continue any further, let's stop and take a break and take a look, look at the abominable options that are right here, like uh, settings. Add ID statistics. Yeah, you don't need to gain add ID crap on me. You don't need to ID m me as a user and then try to give me relevant ads. You can piss off with that one. Um, next, we have personalized ads. Now you can go screw yourself. Uh, you're going to be giving them randomly and not based on my interests. I prefer my device not to listen to me uh, and see what I type or what I talk about and then give me relevant ads based on that. It's freaking creepy. Now, don't be fooled, just because, you know, you turn those off, it's not like your device stops listening to you. Let's be honest here, that's CCP. So, moving on. Enhanced services. Uh, dear customer, Harmony OS provides a range of enhanced... Okay, whatever, you can read this if you want to. Uh, but it's basically just more data gathering as far as I'm aware. So I'm gonna select no thanks. User experience improvement programs. Share analytics. Oh, you really want this data, don't you? You can pay for it like everyone else does. Uh, location services. Now, uh, here I'll be selecting later, but I do want to point this out. Uh, some applications will require location services, like your uh, just basically GPS tracking. As without this, it will refuse to work. And uh, it's not really a uh, limitation of the application. It's a limitation of a shitty developer that basically wants to gather your data so then they can sell it. Um, and if you want to use that app, you will have to allow this. Otherwise, they won't let you use it. Uh, you could alternatively try to spoof your location if you really want to be like anonymous. Um, but some applications or have a way to detect this anyway. I'm just saying. Uh, in any case, most people will probably have this enabled. Uh, I will be select selecting it later anyways. Keep your software up to date. So just an automatic update. Uh, this this, along with literally everything that we're going through here, can be changed later on in the settings, so it's not like set in stone. But I'm going to select update manually and don't enable. This basically means that I won't be getting my software updated automatically when new versions of it roll out. But it also, I do want to clarify this, uh, does not stop OTA updates. OTA updates are the over-the-air updates, and if you've probably seen this happen to you, when you have just like default core uh, core applications on your device 
and all of a sudden you never got an update and it goes from one day looking certain way to next day looking differently. This is an OTA update which you have no control over and it's being rolled out forcibly to your device without your permission, knowledge, uh, to basically apply changes that a company wants to. Uh, this will be something that a lot of Android users will uh, start to be very angry about once Android blocks their the ability to install third-party APKs that are unsigned or that basically didn't pay a ransom fee. Um, so, anyway, with that out of the way, let's move on. Data import. We have several different ways to import our data. So we have a move data from another device, uh, restore from a Huawei cloud backup, or set it up as basically a new device. And moving data from another device, it can be done two ways, either through uh, a uh, connection, a wireless one. Basically, it's going to be a hotspot that this device creates and your old device would connect to it and transfer over all the data wirelessly. Uh, that will require you to download their application for this. Huawei has their own application for it. And if you have an Android device, just to kind of bring it up like anything like, for instance, this, uh, it's a newer Samsung. Uh, if you're going to look for that application, typically you'd be looking for it on uh, the Play Store. That's where you logically would be going for such an application. Uh, you will find it there, but I do want to warn you, the app that we will find in the uh, App Store, Play Store, is an outdated version as Huawei cannot do business with US companies anymore. And the version of the application available there is from like several years back. This app no longer functions with their devices. And the only way you can get it is by going to uh, any kind of web browser and searching for it online. So just search for the Huawei, whatever the name of the app, I think it's like phone clone or something like that. Uh, or I, yeah, I don't actually remember, uh, but it will tell you what the application is and you can download it. It might even actually give you the exact place where you can download it from. So you just type that into your search bar, download it, install it, and that one will work just fine. And that's one way you can import your data wirelessly uh, using the application. And that application will also allow you to move over data using a cable. So you can plug in a cable and uh, have a wired connection between these two devices, which will increase the speed at which the data gets transferred over. Now I'll be selecting setup as a new device. And this then gives me the option to select my system navigation. You can see that it, by default, it tries to get me to use gestures, which is what I will want to use anyway. But if you're the you know OG user, you prefer buttons, you can click right here, change navigation method, and this will automatically swap to buttons and uh, go to the next page. Now I'm going to stick with this and I'm going to select finish. And this gives me, well, finally a reasonably volumed uh, chime that I have finished the setup. You can select try now. And uh, there we go. Our device is now fully set up. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.